welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining us. Today we'll take a little different direction. Uh, we're going to be making a Easter basket uh, that is edible out of pretzels. So stick around and join with us. Uh, this is a little bit of a long video, but I think you'll enjoy the end. So thank you for joining us and enjoy. So we have all our ingredients together for our sugar cookies. We'll use these for not only the sugar cookies, but as well as the sugar cookie basket. We're going to be using three fourths cup all purpose flour, one cup of sugar, three fourths teaspoon baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter softened, one egg beaten, and one tablespoon of milk. Next, we're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients together. We're gonna mix our flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt together. And we're gonna run those through our sifter here. That's gonna get out any big chunks or anything and make our mixing a lot smoother and our cookies a lot better. So we're going to start by mixing butter and sugar together in our mixer. So we're going to get our one cup of butter. Tablespoon of milk. And one egg. Now we'll mix again. on low while we slowly add our dry mixture. Yeah. So there's our finished dough. We'll split this into two pieces. We're going to wrap it in this wax paper and then we're going to refrigerate this for two hours. So there we go, our two balls of dough wrapped up. We'll throw these in the fridge for two hours and we'll be back with you when they're done. So we're gonna start rolling out our sheets of our dough. We've, uh, instead of rolling out on flour, how we would normally roll stuff, we're gonna be using powdered sugar this time. Uh, so we'll be putting powdered sugar down on the surface as well as on our rolling pin. And so we'll get this rolled out so we can start uh, forming our basket. Now we got it all rolled out, we're going to start cutting our strips to weave our basket. Yes! So we want to cut strips about one inch in thickness. We want to get them as straight as possible. six strips and we're just going to cut them down here at the end and the top so everything's nice and even. So now we'll put all of our strips on our wax paper for now. So now we're going to start forming our basket. We've got quite a few different strips ready to go. So there's our rim around it, and now we'll start weaving our basket up and over. So 
So there we go. There's the bottom of our basket. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven. Well, that didn't work very well at all. Um, I may have just ruined this pan as well. <laughs> So now we're going to make the basket out of the pretzel dough. Um, this one will should hopefully actually work to where we have a usable basket for Easter. Uh, we're going to start off by getting our water up to about 105, 110 degrees. We're going to mix sugar, the kosher salt, and the active dry yeast together and let that sit for about five to ten minutes and let the yeast activate. So we got our four and a half cups of flour. We got our butter melting right now. So we'll add the melted butter and the flour to our yeast mixture and we'll blend that in our mixer. So our dough is done. We'll knead it a little more by hand. Then we're gonna oil a bowl, place it in that bowl with some cellophane wrap over it uh, for about an hour. So our dough is done rising. See, it's rose quite a bit. So we've got our baking pan wrapped in tin foil, and we will weave our over and around this to form our basket. So we got our weave done. Now we'll put it in the oven our woven basket handle. So there we go, both handle and basket are finished cooking. Uh, we'll let these cool for a while and then we'll be back with you to put them together. So we let it cool and now here we have it. Okay, let's hope third time's a charm. We're going to try this one more time. Uh, so enjoy this time lapse while we roll our dough out and uh, make a third attempt at our basket. Okay, so we went a lot thinner on our strips this time. Hopefully that'll give us a tighter weave and more strength. Uh, I didn't show the second basket that we did, but once I started to frost it, it just started to fall apart and disintegrate very quickly. Um, so here's our third shot. Um, we got all our, everything cut up and now we'll weave. So we have our first pan for the basket, as well as our second pan that we will do our handle over. Uh, so we'll start with our main basket. So there's the base of our basket, and we'll start working our way around these sides. There's our braided handle, and 
our basket. Here's the moment of truth. Hope that fogged the camera up quick. Those look like they came out way better than the last batch. So I'll get them pulled out and let them cool and we'll be back with you to put them together. So there it is, there's our basket. This has come out really good so far. We used some toothpicks this time to hold it together while we get the frosting going. So we're gonna mix up our frosting and we'll get our basket decorated and ready for Easter. So it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Find out whether three times a charm or whether I failed again. Four days worth of trying, two failed attempts, third time, so for now I just threw a couple of Easter Bunny cookies that we made in there um, for Easter we'll fill it up more with some fresh snacks but there it is guys we did it Hope you guys enjoyed this, our edible Easter basket. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had more fun watching this than we had making it. Uh, the third time was definitely uh, took a little push to actually go through it and finish it, but I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm really proud of our work. Um, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.